project motion lab today i have two lab assistant uh rifat for uh, uh, four over four gpa mm -hmm. uh in fact you can see Don't on. over here that's him wow and uh, uh and i have a uh, subono show you the lab setup so i have this tennis ball and i have this incline this incline is 30 degree angle 30 degree with respect to this x-axis i'm gonna let the ball tennis ball go over here and it's gonna roll and it's gonna fall with velocity well velocity has two components the velocity x is positive more than zero that's what we're going to calculate velocity y is zero as you know because you solve the problem as mr barry is sitting on the rooftop and get attacked by terrorists so remember uh, the ruler cannot be at the edge you have to allow the ball to roll not only on the incline but on the x-axis if the ball doesn't roll on the x-axis the ball will not have zero velocity of vx component our goal is that the vx component of the velocity has to be zero uh, and the vy the vy component of the velocity uh, see the lab assistance paying attention the vy component has to be zero and the vx component is that what we are calculating very nice so we're trying to find the height so the lab assistant you want to help me all right then. so put the put the, all right. the tape over here okay How many? that's no that's about 22 centimeters 22 so 122 wow 122 centimeters so that's how tall it is now what we're going to do we have to make sure that we place the ruler on the on the ground so right. let's bring it over here close 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 okay now we're going to place this one on the ground uh, isaac can you put the tape on it mm. i'll put the tape on don't put it for sorry that's fine yeah. it's, it's a ruler disrespecting it's disrespecting you don't have no, no, it's not uh, you disrespecting ruler, you disrespecting physics. So let's see, three, two, one. So let's see, three, two, one. Being here, it's about 30 degrees. What can you do with this 30 degree? Well, you can do one of two things with it. Of course, you can find the velocity here, and you can find the velocity here using our data, or but to find the velocity first you have to find the acceleration yeah you have to find the acceleration what is the uh, equation for acceleration by the way vf squared equals vi squared plus 2ad well no acceleration is uh, oh believe. yeah uh f equals ma you have to use the coefficient of friction as well uh, oh yes you have to use the coefficient of friction so this is a plus g sign data minus yeah minus mu k mu k g cosine data a g cosine theta right and mu k would be that actually is derived from f equals m a because that's actually the force of gravity parallel minus the force of friction absolutely the only so, difference is you divide by so m this is the parallel one and the friction is opposite so the motion is this way and the friction is opposite and there is a friction so mu k we kind of know mu k right this yep. is this is plastic no it's made of rubber all right, so this is rubber. Rubber is rolling on the wood. No, it's rolling on this plastic okay. until the last so part. So when rubber rolling on the plastic is, of course, Newton's first law. No, because it's on an inclined plane, you would have to use the second law in order there to you find go. So it's Newton's second law. It's not Newton's first law. So it's mu s. No, it's mu k because so the ball mu -K. is rolling. Absolutely. So it's mu k. So the mu k has to be 0.3. Wood on wood is 0.3. Well, no, because we have rubber on plastic. So okay, great. So this uh, lab assistant really is expert in physics, as you can realize. I try to confuse him, but he has high confidence. Wasn't able to confuse him. So the rubber 
uh, the rubber of the plastic, the coefficient of friction is 0.34, we'll be able to find the acceleration. The acceleration will allow us to find the velocity. That velocity would be uh, equal uh, with the velocity that we can get from the data. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to quickly show you the lab. And first, I'm going to start my conversation with the diagram. Uh, so what you saw is a 122 uh, centimeter which is 1.22 meter uh, long um, clip on the top of a clip we had an incline uh, we had to incline is a 30 degree we had to make sure that there is uh, the ball get chance to roll on the x-axis as soon as it finishes the incline what is the purpose of the incline the purpose of the incline is uh, to get some velocity velocity come from acceleration acceleration come from the force what type of force of course a gravitational force and um, and we call this one a uh, location one at location one uh, there are two type of velocity one is velocity x one is velocity y velocity y is zero i'm going to show you the how the vector of the velocity look like we measured this one four times and then we took the average and that is uh, 60 centimeters so it's better to write 0.60 uh, meters so the ball gets roll 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 come to the edge of the clip and then falls like that so this is a uh, 60 meter 60 centimeter which is 0.6 meter okay now velocity uh, at right here so you're gonna call this one at location two of course uh, velocity vector right here velocity y is zero and velocity x look like this over here velocity x look like this velocity y look like this over here velocity x look like this and velocity y look like this of course velocity y this y is bigger than this one however this one is equal to this one is equal to this one that means vx is constant okay now let's find the uh, time how long the ball was in the air how long it takes for ball to hit the ground so we're going to start our conversation like this d is equal to of course dy is equal to vi y t plus half a y t square is dx is equal to vi x t plus half a x t square and of course this is negative 1.22 negative 1.22 and this is of course zero uh, see uh, and this is we're going to use uh, negative 10 uh, let me use the uh, the thing over here uh, we're going to use uh, uh, negative uh, 10 as acceleration due to gravity so negative that it cancel t is equal to 0 0.5 of course now I rounded it to negative uh, 0 0.5 but it's actually 0 0.44 here acceleration due to gravity at the x direction is of course 0 this is why axel uh, uh, since there is no acceleration in the x direction see bx 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 remain constant how much we're going to find out right now vx is equal to dx over t and dx we already know that 0.6 uh, so 0.6 over of course t we just found it 0.5 decimal decimal cancel 6 over 5 is 1.2 uh, so now we know vx is 1.2 so 1.2 1.2 1.2 that means that vx never changes that means vx is constant so now you can come over here this is location one this is location one this is location two uh, this is a location two vx it doesn't change so i'm just going to write 1.2 vy vy is zero over here so, so vy is over here how much is, is so much is negative it's, it's the biggest arrow so you can find out so vf is equal to vi plus at of course at location two we are trying to find uh, 
vy is of course zero v initial v initial y is zero over here uh, uh, minus 10 and 0.5 of course v2 is negative 5 and it makes sense because this arrow is is big so this is uh, 5 meters per second and this is 1 meter uh, 1.2 meter per second all right so we know a velocity minus 5 and t of course the t is 0 and 4.5 now dxt of course this one uh, is constant uh, uh, this one is linear how do we know this one is linear or well, let's do this one then we know that vxt so this is vxt if you if your vxt is constant as you see vxt is constant vxt is constant if it is constant in fact we know it's constant by 1.2 if this one is uh, constant, this one must be linear. So that's how you can solve it. Vyt, of course, Vyt is a quadratic because Vy is zero. Vy is more than zero. Vy is way more than zero. That means Vy is changing. Why changing? Because there is acceleration. How much acceleration? Of course, acceleration due to gravity over here. We use negative 10. All right, so good. That means this must be a quadratic. That means Vyt uh, uh, is, uh, of course, linear, linear because this one is, is, is quadratic. So this is dy, uh, dyt. In fact, if you want, we can find the area right here. So this is 0 0.5 and this is 1.2. 1.2 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.6. Hey. 0.6 is the range and we know that vxt another name is range it we can even find over here area over here area over here is of course 1.2 how do you know this is 0.5 and this is minus 5 of course uh, half uh, 0.5 and minus 5 uh, and give you of course 1.2 and this is uh, see area under the curve which is below x-axis so this is displacement or well, this is today's lab uh, you make sure uh, this is I don't know it's 2 in the morning I'm, I'm just finishing it sorry it took me forever to finish it once you come home you cannot do anything uh, but uh, please finish this lab as soon as possible